Hello, and welcome to the world of M3. I am Foosbag, and we initially started this one in survival, but have switched to creative for most of what you see. That big tower off in the background with the lava, that was actually made in survival. But anyway, um, this is the city texture pack, and we put together this castle, currently on the main floor, as you can see. And we'll work our way down. We get to the first lower level here. Now, there's all kinds of stuff around here that'll probably get shown off in other videos, but I'm here to show one particular thing. There's another level. And that is this little adventure I tried to make as I learned more about redstone. And I, here I'm trying to remember how to clear my inventory, which I failed to do properly. But here I figure it out and then accidentally have an extra flint and steel, which in this texture pack looks like a lighter. For future videos, it'll be that execution chamber you saw to the right, and then I actually have new ways I'm going to build it, which will be to the left. But here's the story. Question, what is this lever for? You're in this room with that nice fireplace in the back. It's all pretty looking. And what are we supposed to do with this lever, you might wonder. Well, I'm going to tell you, so if you ever want to just do this one, I'm going to spoil it. There's where the lever goes. It moves the fire. You go in, in this interesting purple room. It's got waterfalls and gold on the walls. I wonder what we're supposed to do here. Look, a button, and it opens. <gasps> but you can't get there fast enough. That's the puzzle. First you had to find where to put a lever, and now you gotta figure out how to get, so even if you back up as far as you can, push it, run it, you just can't make it in time. So, hmm, turn around. Oh, look, a reminder to fix the fire, and there's still a sign left to find. And in the chest, there's a bow. Take this bow. Now, I like to think someone actually has to kind of figure this out, but when you hit the button with the bow, the arrow will keep it pushed. Ta-da! Found the last sign, but you have less than a minute because the arrow despawns a minute after it hits the wall. So you can come in here, you can grab some loot. There's a little reminder sign there to put your bow away. Grab your arrow, so you get the arrow. Door closes. A reminder to put stuff away. So put the bow back where it belongs. And then I managed to have an extra lever, but still take the lever off. Reset your fire. And then it's ready for the next adventurer. Ta-da! And another reminder over here. Don't forget to put the flint and steel away. But I have an extra one, so I've still got it. <gasps> but I didn't put the lever back. I forgot to put the lever back. So whoever shows up here is me like, what is this lever for? Anyway, I figured I'd show you a bit about how this circuitry works. I'm still learning how to use the redstone, so it's... There might be simpler ways to do this, but I needed that to stay powered when the lever was off. So therefore, that sticky piston puts... What is that? Redstone? Whatever it's called. Yeah, it puts that there so that it'll power that circuit when there's no lever. And when you put your lever on, and flip it. See the power turns on down there. When the power is on, that turns on the piston, which turns off the power on this circuit which is what keeps that door closed. So, you know, I'm actually getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Yeah. And you want the, you know, there might be some easier way to switch a hot wire to a not hot wire, but that's the way that I know how to do it. And now we're back here. This is actually where, as you can see, the gold bricks are and how some of this stuff works back here as well. And I mean, I really seriously, see, I thought there was gonna be a door there, but it's the wrong spot. I gotta remember where I'm at here. But um, I like working with the redstone and trying to figure out ways to do different things and how not to break your wires and make sure you have enough signal strength and all that is just a nice little challenge. But so now that's how the fire gets out of the way. When you come back here, this is the access point I've got for this next round of circuits, which they do overlap. So you see that we're back in here now. And that makes that open. There's You can go up above there, there's water, then there's a piston that open and closes the flow of water. And it's pretty handy stuff. So I mean this is it was the first little adventure area I ever tried to make. Um, down here this will be the topic for another video. The execution chamber is pretty cool. Be sure to tune back in to catch that video. I appreciate you watching. Hope you tune in some more and subscribe to the channel and all that kind of stuff. Again I'm Foosbag and I'll